Check this out. We had a great church service today, right? And my pastor, he 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 preached today on fasting. And it was some things that I knew, but I felt like it's some things that don't really get adrift in the church anymore that was adrift today. And it made me feel good because me and my wife had, had talked about these things, about fasting. Fasting is not eating something. Fasting is not eating. Let's get that uh Right, put it out there on the table. It's not eating. Now, a lot of times we get things confused, and we will confuse fasting with abstinence. We can abstain from something, which is which is not a bad thing. You can say I'm 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 not having sex and things, and I'm and I'm and and no social media and things of that nature. But that's not fasting. And it's crazy because we start to intertwine these two. And we don't, and we step away from what biblical fasting is. And let me let me explain this to you. Those other things, there's nothing wrong with it. And a lot of times we get caught up in fasting. That a lot of times we're not even fasting. What we're doing is dieting. Spiritual fasting and dieting is not the same thing. Now you got all types of things going on: intermittent fasting and things that things of that nature. And it's easy to get those things confused. Excuse me. And my pastor, he brought all of that stuff up today. And I was like, man, this is stuff that's been heavy on my heart. And and it's crazy because true spiritual fasting is really not taught that much no more. We have a season of fasting. And in that season of fasting, a lot of churches, they say, I'm fasting from social media. I'm fasting from TV. No, you're abstaining from it, but you're not fasting. That's not a true fast. And most people really don't want to fast. A lot of people don't want to deny their body food to get closer to God, to enhance their prayer life, and to hear God's voice more clearly. A lot of people don't want to do things. Jesus spoke of these things when, even when he was, when the, when the, they couldn't heal the demon, uh, uh, deliver the, deliver the demon. He said, "This comes from prayer and fasting." And even me, when I'm, when I'm doing my fasting, and I fast, I feel better. I hear God's voice more clearly. Everything falls in in the place during a spiritual fast. And the crazy thing is, Scripture teaches us, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Fasting is part of seeking first the kingdom of God. So when you're spiritually fasting, your health will fall in line. Talking to God and hearing God's voice will fall in line. Everything else will fall in line from, fall in line from spiritual fasting. And it doesn't have to be like in a season. I want you to think about this. Imagine something. Imagine this. Imagine going to church every Sunday. Let's say you got a thousand members, and all thousand members at that church every Saturday from one time, from a certain amount of time, let's say Saturday morning until after church. Everybody's doing this spiritual fast. They're praying for supernatural healing. They're praying over the church. They're praying over anybody that comes in the church that's not saved. And then, trust me, you'll start seeing miracles beyond belief just from that fasting and people coming together on one accord. Can you imagine walking into a church building with 500 people, 200 people, 10 people who have all fasted and prayed of oh, the same thing, that's power. And see, a lot of us, I realize, we are fast, but we won't pray. We are fast, and we won't, we'll walk around looking downcast like something's wrong with us. And, and the scripture teaches us that we should basically wash our face Make sure our hair is good. Don't let the world know. It ain't got nothing to do with the world. They don't need to know you fasting. It's between you and God, spiritual fasting. But yet, we don't do that. A lot of us want the world to see us fasting and know that we fasting. And I want to leave you with this. I want, I want to challenge you to make fasting be a part of your life. Meaning, maybe fast once a week, a spiritual fast. And I wanna and I want you to read Isaiah 58. I think it's Isaiah 58. Read Isaiah 58 of what Isaiah 58 speaks on true fasting. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you here. A lot of y'all that's watching this video may have never truly fasted before. So you don't understand the benefits that can come with it. So I'm challenging you to have a true spiritual fast. Ask God to speak to you. And it would change your life forever.